flowing softly, unveiling the beauty of this English phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a beautiful and descriptive English phrase, flowing softly. This phrase paints a vivid picture in our minds, and we're going to explore what it means, how it's used, and the effect it creates in language. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets of this charming expression. Flowing softly is a phrase that combines two words, flowing and softly. To understand it fully, we need to break it down. 1. Flowing. This word suggests movement that is smooth and continuous, like water in a river. 2. Softly. This adds a sense of gentleness or quietness to the flowing movement. When combined, flowing softly often describes something moving in a gentle, smooth, and unobtrusive manner. It's a phrase that's frequently used to depict water, air, or even emotions. To grasp the phrase's beauty, let's see it in action. 1. Nature Descriptions The stream was flowing softly under the moonlight, creating a serene scene. 2. Emotional Context Her words flowed softly, soothing his troubled mind. In each example, the phrase adds a layer of sensory detail that helps create a vivid and emotive picture. Flowing softly isn't just for everyday use. It finds a special place in literature and speeches. Poets and authors use it to evoke imagery and emotions. In speeches, it can help convey ideas in a manner that is gentle yet powerful. For English learners, phrases like flowing softly are great tools for practicing descriptive language. Try using it in different contexts. Write a short paragraph describing a natural scene. Use it in a conversation to describe feelings or movements. Remember, the beauty of English lies in its rich vocabulary and expressive phrases. And that's a wrap on flowing softly. We hope this exploration has illuminated the charm and utility of this phrase in English. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to incorporate such descriptive phrases into your language repertoire. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.